Hi, this is Tommy Puglia from Power BI Tips. Uh, today, we're going to do some more demos around goals in Power BI. And what we're going to do is set up and connect to uh, three data points and three goals, a card, a bar chart, and a line chart. So let's kind of dive in and just do something simple here. Let's just connect one of our goals to a card. In this case, I want to do a revenue year to date, year over year. It's one of my reports. All I have to do is go to a report a goal card I already have up. We're going to click on edit this goal and I'm going to go to connect to data. This is going to bring up for me all the reports that are available to me in my tenant. In this case, I want to go to my favorites since uh, this is one of the reports that I frequently visit. We'll click next. And again, it's going to show me my entire report. And what I can do here is really I can connect to anything in this report. In this case, like I said, I want to do my revenue year to date, year over year. That's in my top left. And all I'm going to do is just simply cl click on it. And you'll see Power BI will do the rest. It's going to show me if there's any filters or slicers affecting it. In this case, it's a simple card. So this is pretty straightforward. Now all I have to do is just uh, allow the goal card or the goal to connect to the data point. So we're going to go to the bottom left and we're going to say connect to this card. Once we do that, we'll see that the goal is now connected to the data point in that report. I want to do some formatting. It's my preference rather than a decimal number. I want this to be a percentage and I only want this to be one decimal place. In this case, I want to do a manual target. I always want this to be over 12%. I just set it up that way. Power BI will know it's a percentage and we'll click save. So that's a simple card, but that's only the tip of the iceberg with what goals can do in Power BI. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to connect to bar chart and I'm going to connect to a subset of the data using slicers in an existing report. So let's do that. So in this scenario, I have bikes in one of my bar chart and I have three months versus six months rolling for my sales. So I'm going to click on edit this goal. We're going to click to connect to data. And again, I don't have to pick the same report in a scorecard. I can pick any report. I'm going to go to my favorites. We'll choose this other report and we'll expand. So now you see we have a few things open here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep the slicer on the top left. This slicer over here is actually allowing the entire report to filter. Everything's dynamic based on the months rolling. In this case, the slicer is showing me how many months to uh, do a uh, rolling average. So we'll keep the three as the default. I want to go to the middle here and it shows me bikes. So what I'm going to do is click on the bike data point. Once I click on the bike data point, you can actually see that Power BI is telling me what's being filtered. It's the category bikes and the months rolling for the rolling average measure is three. You'll also notice under my measures, there's a drop down. That's because this particular bar chart has tooltips. So what I'm going to do is click on the drop down. I'm going to choose products with profit. That gives me this number here, which is actually a tooltip, not the main number in my visual. So this makes it really easy to create dynamic visuals and dynamic uh, goals. We'll click connect. So now I have my current. All I'm going to do here is connect to my target. And again, I want this to be six months rolling. I want to compare my three months versus six months. We'll do everything the same. Click on connect the data. We'll expand it. Go to my favorites. Choose the same report. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just change the slicer over here to six. So now my rolling average for products with profit is six months, not three. We'll do everything the same. Click on the bike bar chart. You can see everything's being changed where it's bikes. And now the rolling average is six. We're going to choose products with profit. We'll click connect. And now we have our current versus target all dynamic. And as the data updates, so will the current and the target value and we will click on save. The last thing we'll do is we'll show a historical line chart. So we'll click on edit this goal. We'll click connect to data. I'll go back to the original report that we showed of in our still goals. And what I'm going to do here is just connect to the line chart here. And again, just like before, I can choose any of the measures or tooltips in that visual. I'm going to choose the product margin for six months of period. And you'll notice I also get this option here, say track all the data in the time series or track just this data point. 
What tracking all data in this time series allows me to do is actually look at all the historical values. When we set up a goal, it's going to start tracking historically from the time we set it up, unless it's a line chart. It will track everything in the past. So we'll say track all the data in the time series. We'll click connect. I'll make a target again, manual. We'll see, I just want that over 30%. Make sure my percentage is correct. And now I have three goals set up. And you can see um, with the bar chart, my first data point shows up with February 12th, which is today. But when I look at the line chart, it's showing me everything historically, including the history. So that's just a simple setting up using a card, a bar chart, and a line chart. Follow Power BI Tips for more demos.